Okay. Hello, and welcome to Fatal Frame on PlayStation 2. Uh, I'm currently playing on an emulator because I don't have a capture card. Fatal Frame is a survival horror game from 2002. Um, unlike most survival horror games, you actually are dealing with ghosts and spirits as opposed to monsters and zombies and occasionally dinosaurs. Um, the series is an old favorite of mine, as Fatal Frame 5 is about to be re-released in a couple months on PC, Switch, and uh, PS5, Xbox One X. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and go through Fatal Frames 1 through 3, because um, those are all on PS2. Fatal Frame 4, unfortunately, was not released in America and was only on the Wii as well. Uh, which I do own it, but I definitely don't have any way of getting that played, so. So yeah, so we'll just start up a new game here and go from here. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. My big brother. He was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. This is Himuro Mansion. My brother was in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist and a man my brother was very indebted to disappeared while researching a book. When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, He was going far away. Himuro Intro The Forbidden Rituals of This Area it looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. So yeah, so we are. Everything's crushed by the fawn beam, almost beyond recognition. Um, during the introduction part of the game, you play as Mafuyu. And then for the rest of the game, you play as his sister Miku. Takamine should be in the mansion somewhere. I've got to find him fast. And that crackling sound and the little blue light there in the corner indicates that there's a, a passive spirit nearby to take a picture of, which is your main way of doing combat with ghosts in this game, is you have a special camera that can damage ghosts. So if you hear it. Yeah, look for distortions. Like that. It's 
something large beyond the lattice. It kind of looks like a person covered with cloth. Some of the blue ones are uh, time-based, where you only have a few seconds to get them. Um, and some of them are puzzle-based, where they remain until you get them. Huge beam has fallen from the ceiling, is blocking half of the entrance. There's a hole in the floor, too dark to see into. Something fell from the ceiling? There's an angry looking mask on the wall. There's a box of film on the floor. Found type 14 film. I think I can use it with my camera. Trolls, blah blah blah. Now, I did look up a guy on YouTube who had specific settings for this game, for what he was using for the emulator, um, and I'm hoping that's going to make it a little, a little better, because I've tried to play this before on emulator, and uh, it some of the ghost textures don't come through, things like that. It really takes away from it. Old camera here. Think Shot. Coming up here is one of the first ghosts that's like, it's a time limited thing, you just gotta be quick to catch it. Rope hallway man, even though you can barely see him. Yeah, I can't even see him there. Um, as you take pictures, though, of the ghosts that just are background ghosts or uh, attacking enemy spirits, you get points that you'll later be able to use to upgrade the camera for more power. There's a big mirror, but it shows only my own reflection. There's a board nailed to the door, probably been there a while, trying to... There's an old suit of armor here, doesn't seem to be just for show, it's seen some hard use. There's an old blind mask, many other antiques too, collecting was the owner's hobby. Lots of antiques here, they might have been worth something at some point. This has been disturbed around the sunken fireplace as if it had been used recently. And looking down. They're about dark rituals. Do they belong to the man that lived here? Books are falling apart. Can't even read the covers. There are any books of real interest? Staircase is falling down. There's an old clock here. It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. screen. Old folding screen here might have been pretty once, but faded now. A padlock on the door. Forward. Don't feel anybody's presence by the sliding screen. Thing in the, of the chest. 
staircase is falling down. Probably been down a while. Nothing to do with Takamine. The nice thing in this game is, uh, so it does kind of have tank controls, like uh, classic Resident Evil, Silent Hill games. Um, but a really nice thing is if you hold down the run button, they will just automatically run, and then you just kind of turn the turn the analog stick whichever way you want them to run, but you can just hold down the button and it'll run. Alright, let's get this up. Shooting ghosts. Hold the camera, press shutter with the button to attack ghosts when the target's inside the circle. Mystical power accumulates. Damage you and foot goes up as you accumulate more power. When you have the ghosts in your viewfinder and the circle glows, take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a shot during the shutter bug moment, also known as a fatal frame. expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I might need to tweak the settings some more here. Door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. But he 
left a note that led me to this place. I felt as though something was calling me here. Mafuyu. The door rolling open as if something's holding it. it seems sealed by a powerful force. Beams falling and blocking it. Entrance. Cold air is blowing in through a big hole in the floor. Something fell through here. Something on the floor. Got herbal medicine. Save. And hopefully, a setting I just changed real quick during the cutscene make it so the ghosts show up again. It's gonna be hard to play and a little bit more boring if they aren't visible at all. So, I guess we'll find out. I don't have a camera. Can't take a picture of them. In New Game Plus, I believe you start with the camera. You can actually get the picture of him there. There's a small piece of paper on the floor. It's like a piece of a notebook. Research notes. September 12th. Now there's another rope. And another rope. Put the piece of the notebook in my file. brother's camera and notebook from the floor. Mom's old camera. My brother had this with him. And a new note inside Mafuyu's notebook. Imuro Mansion Investigation. Imuro Mansion was once the home of a large landowner that controlled vast areas of land. They also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with Shinto rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these Shinto rituals, though. The last master of the Himuro family line massacred his entire household. Later, another family that tried to live there disappeared. Because of incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today, and it lies in ruins. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals and why the exact location of this place isn't recorded anywhere. September 24th. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook just in case something happens to me. I've got to find Mr. Takamine and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. 
or many other notes and news articles inside the notebook. Well, that might actually be a good sign, because he was actually there that time. Let's see. Maybe that means they're going to show up now. Okay, fives. Research notes. Editor Ogata's notes one about folk and and live in the kitchen. August 20th. Mr. Takamine needs more background material for his next work. There's a book about Himuro Mansion by a certain folklorist, and I'm supposed to look for it. A book about Shinto rituals and legends from every part of the country. Author Ryozo Munakata. Unicata. Title unknown. August 22nd. I can't find the book, but I did some checking on the folklore. I found out he moved into Human Row Mansion to do research on it, but after some certain event, he and his whole family disappeared. I couldn't find the book, but I found a news article about that period from that period about it. It's a small missing person story, but it might be helpful as background too. Oh god his notes too. Human Row Mansion and Takamine's next work. September 10th, 11 a.m. It looks like the earthquake last month and the murders in that village have something to do with Himuro Mansion. This stuff is probably all going into Mr. Takamine's next book. He really seems to be into this subject matter. His output rate should be good. September 10th, 4 p.m. The entrance door is broken. When in the world did that happen? It won't open. I'll have to find another way out. Who oh got his notes? Three. He doesn't feel well. September 11th. I haven't been feeling well since two nights ago. Actually, it's more like ever since... To if I butcher any names during this game, apologies to any Japanese listeners. Uh, Tomoe took my picture. What in the world does the rope in this photo mean? I wonder. Oh God, this notes four. Looks like delirious nonsense. Now there's another rope and another rope. Oh God, this notes five. Chart and numbers for mansion's devices. September 10th, 1.10 p.m. There seem to be a few devices in this mansion that are engraved with old characters. When I asked Mr. Takamine about them, he said they correspond to numbers. I understand the first few. They're the old characters for the numbers 0 through 3, but I don't get the rest. They're characters that have the same readings as 4 through 9, but mean something different. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I guess each one has a special meaning. I'll figure out the rest later. News clipping. Fuyu's notebook, star mystery novelist missing. There was a report yesterday that star novelist Junsei Takamine, age 42, has been missing since the 8th of this month. Mr. Takamine's assistant, Tomoe Hirasaka, and his editor, Koji Ogata, are also missing. Mr. Takamine last made a phone call to his publishers on September 8th regarding his research trip and has not been heard from for 14 days. The publishers first assumed the research was taking longer than expected, but since there were no calls from Mr. Ogata, they decided to file a missing persons report. And then they've got a nice little correlation chart. Koji Ogata, Jensei Takamine. Editor who accomplished Takamine's research. He disappeared while exploring the mansion with Takamine and Osaka. Takamine's assistant. She disappeared while exploring the mansion with Takamine and Ogata. Miku came in search of Mafuyu. Miku's brother came to the mansion and searched Takamine, may have been captured by the female ghost in a white kimono. Miyuki, Miku's mother, she possessed spiritual powers and gave the camera to Miku. And lastly, from the Himuro family, we have the woman in white kimono. People who got lost in the mansion, I'll mention the woman in their death note. Could she have kidnapped Mafuyu? Alright. The only one shown reflected in the mirror. Who could that woman be? Doors nailed shut. It
There's a medicine container near the ornamental desk. Brother Shadow. I was a little too quick on that first shot. <laughs> Got it before he was there. Box film and find the broken staircase. There's an old folding screen here. Might have been pretty once, but it's faded now. I hear something on the other side of the door. Maybe someone's in there. Don't feel anybody's presence behind the sliding screen. Also doesn't help that sometimes the game will uh, automatically lock onto the ghosts on the blue ghosts that are moving, and sometimes it won't. <laughs> Just never know when you're gonna get a free shot if you're quick, or when you actually have to aim it. Should just run down the stairs instead of trying to catch the picture. controls too. In finder mode, you can see things that can't be seen with the naked eye. Try taking a photo on the controller vibrates or you hear strange noises. The folding screen the photo, a door appears where the screen should be. And doors not shut, can't open it. I love this mansion. Wrecked as it is, I love it. Held by a powerful force. 
door on the side is broken. It won't move at all. paper on the chest it looks like a newspaper. Late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in Himuro Mountain, located in the southern region of the prefecture. The body's hands, feet, and head were all torn off. The police are investigating the case as both a murder and accident. The body has not been identified, but it's believed to be a man around the age of 30. The police are also taking into consideration the fact that a body mutilated in the same manner was found in the same region 15 years ago. under the window. Type 37. Looks like a new roll of film. I wonder if Mafuyu left it here. Scroll with the picture of flowers on is hanging here. It's faded and sad now. you get, sometimes you don't. Reporter in the closet. It's covered with dust, but it seems to work. Audio tape has been left inside the tape. Audio tape with a white label, it's stopped in the middle. September 9th, 5.40 p.m. The mansion was nowhere to be seen on the map, so we finally had to ask the locals how to find it. They told us that Himuro Mansion had been empty for several decades now. The same ones who told us where it was also warned us not to come here, which was quite disconcerting. It is just a real nightmare trying to get shots in some of these tight corners. It's like an old kimono chest. A small mirror stand, but the mirror is missing. The drawer is locked. Oh, 
woman in kimono. began to glow with mystical power. The camera seal. Power-ups. You can acquire mystical power by damaging ghosts. Select camera from the menu to access power-up screen. You can unlock the seal with accumulated, accumulated mystical power and power it up. Auxiliary functions. When you unlock auxiliary functions, you enable many special attacks. To use the enable, press the L1 button. Number of auxiliary functioning uses the limit of the number of spirit stones in your inventory, so be free. So, when you defeat a ghost, they will leave behind an orb like that. Um, if it explodes, then that means that the ghost is going to come back. If you've beaten them for the last time, then it actually turns into like a glowy flame that kind of goes into the camera. So we've got 7,800 points here. Back, slow down the ghost. This ghost is more visible. Paralyze. Searches for locations of ghosts and tracks them automatically is an incredibly useful function. However, it's 14,000. So we need a couple more fights. Increased charge value of mystical power means that you can do more damage when you attack, but you also get more points for each attack. Speed, obviously, range is incredibly useful because it you've got a specific point where you start accumulating spiritual power. Something underneath the window, white tape two. September 9th, 9.40 p.m. It seemed dangerous to walk through the mountain at night, so we decided to spend the night here and continue our work. I've been through several rooms already. Unlike the exterior, the interior is still in quite good shape. A little earlier, I thought I saw a white, shadowy figure of a woman in the hallway near the entrance. I'll keep track of such sightings and publish them in a later account. Oh, and for those wondering why we're using, like, cassette tapes and everything for recordings, uh, this game takes place in 1986, so... No cell phones and no recording devices are kind of out there. Old kimono hangs here. It's faded and dusty, but the red lining is still vivid. Something shows in the photo. It looks like the lion mask near the sunken fireplace. The photo in my file. More herbal medicine. I 
the other reason why I really like this game is because ghosts can attack you at any time, any place. Well, most places there are safe rooms, but because um, they're ghosts. There isn't anybody in the closet. The sound is still going. Um, so yeah, they can attack you anywhere. Come through the walls, through the floor, ceiling, teleport, just appear as they do. Yeah, I knew you were coming. Sometimes ghosts will just jump you when you, you know, jump out from behind you when you try and open a door. Something reflecting light inside the ornamental lion mask. Red hand mirror. Found the red hand mirror inside the ornamental lion mask. I got the red hand mirror. I would like them to re-release these games. I, I want Fatal Frame 5 to do good on the re-release coming up in a couple months. And maybe they'll re-release all the other games or remaster them completely. It would be nice. I would love to see these with newer graphics and everything. Even though they hold up very well today. that time, Koji. You're full of crap, Koji. I sometimes forget which button is run and which one's the camera, so I try to run, I pull the camera up. Trying to jump scare me, you jerk. I think he's gonna attack again here. We're just about done with Koji. He's just kind of the. So there are regular basic enemies, um, but a lot of the bosses, as it were, the mini bosses, they will attack you repeatedly throughout the course of their segments as well, and Koji's kind of the first one of those. He's just about finished. I just saw <gasps> the ropes. 
You can see the faint shadows of ropes on the man's neck, arms, and legs. I got the small key from the drawer. It looks old. I wonder if it's key to some door. Let's get to... Ah, missed my shot. Oh, I said move. Something shiny where the ghost once stood. Spirit stone. This mysterious stone enhances the camera's power and enables auxiliary functions. And that's the last time we will fight Koji. This can be helpful with some of the later ghosts, especially when they move through walls and stuff. Even if it is pricey. Help with some of the ones that you only have a limited shot at getting. written in charcoal ink on the shelf underneath the urn. Research scrap. Secret rituals of the Himuro family. Many rituals and customs have been passed down through generations of the Himuro family. Most of them are lost. The only things we have left now are some documents that record these rituals as a legend. Hardly any of the oral history remains. This is because all Himuro family members are dead, and those who were close to the family have kept quiet about the ritual. One ritual in particular, performed on December 13th, is shrouded in mystery. People who lived near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day, and even now it's considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that date. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of the ritual, but the truth remains unknown. Put the book describing the Himuro family in my file. It's like an old brazier, there's so much dust inside it I can't see the bottom. 
something floor, herbal medicine. This room is locked. Oh, no, it's not. This is the balcony. Courtyard balcony. There's someone right there in that window. <laughs> Something in the dark. Side and screen paper is torn. I can see into the room. Rosebold Books Library. That other door is the way forward, but for the moment, we're going to go through this one. Small kimono hangs here from the size looks like a little girl's. It's faded now. Because this door is our save room. Dampness has warped the chest of drawers. The drawers won't budge. There's an audio tape in front of the doll. The red tape labeled Research One. There's an old Japanese doll here. Its kimono is all faded. Funny, no dust though. Small door here, but it's nailed shut and I can't open it. Something inside the drawer. Type 14 film. There's several pieces of paper on the shelf. They look like part of a red notebook. Red notebook scrap. August 20th, it seems a folklorist named Ryozu Munakata was studying about the various rituals passed down at Himuro Mansion. He supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if there's a copy in the library somewhere. August 30th, I still can't find the book. I'll have Koji Ogata from the editing department do a search for it. I doubt he'll be able to find it. There. September 10th, 1020 AM. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. Could these be the folklorist's children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Old kimono hangs here. This is where we are going to end our first episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. And hopefully we'll see you for the next one. Bye.